Hi everybody, happy 4th of July. We had a great holiday, but now we're back. I'm just gonna do a quick spin around, show you that the hall is just chock chock full, and I'm gonna go through and tell you about some of the things we've got going on. Now Saturday, tomorrow, if you're watching this now, is the lighting auction. Next week we have some real estate auctions, got all kinds of cool stuff going on. This week on Sunday, now, we have so much costume jewelry, a lot of estate vintage stuff, comes from several estates, it's like when it rains it pours. We're going to actually do a whole separate ring with nothing but estate jewelry. There's a little mix of everything in here. There's some retro modern pieces here, some great brooches all the way through, but literally hundreds of lots. So somewhere around lots 250 or something like that, we're going to be doing, and that one's all cameos, we're going to be doing a separate jewelry ring auction. So. Um, make sure you, if you've got any interest in any kind of estate jewelry, jewelry boxes full, all kinds of cool stuff, let me know. Okay, so that's going to be my favorite work today. I think. We're going to start this way. The estate, the real jewelry will be selling. There's plenty of it. Um, these items are in the first hundred lots. They're online. You have everything from 18 carats of sterling vintage and estate there's some tahitian pearls that are wonderful there lots of um really great pieces a multicolored um pearl necklace there's amethyst stuff there's diamonds there's um tanzanites there's some vintage pieces there's a uh squash blossom look at that sterling and turquoise belt so we have coins uh we're gonna come right around here again these are some other pieces that have been Pearls, silver, gold, that's a gold and diamond bracelet. There's some pieces there. Come on down through here. Watches, some bougie stuff, lots of fun. All right, moving into this showcase. Hummels, Wedgwood, Sterling, Steins, military items. Up we go. Look at there, I'm gonna have to zoom in a little bit. These are some incredible, um, cameras, a lot of German pieces, so make sure you go look online. There's some more descriptive information. Waterford Crystal, some more Sterling. Look at that cool Halloween stuff there. Lots of Fenton, tons of Fenton. It's going to be a really good sale for that. There's some more Sterling candlesticks. Uh-oh, here you go. Buck Rogers, original guns. Look at there. Some more pieces, lots of Buck Rogers things there. Next showcase. Knives, baby dishes. Hermes, um, there's a mint one, never been opened, more Buck Rogers, lots of fun stuff. There's some military pieces, lots of badges. Now we're gonna wander in through, let's go this way. Check out this guy, isn't he cute? Okay, he is a bronze water fountain. Great for the yard art, which is the big giant one we've got. Um, stoneware, lots of art coming through here. We're gonna zoom out a little bit so I can show you all of the Roseville, there's some hall pottery, there's an accordion. This is probably 1800s, it's early kitchen cabinet. Um, some pots here, more art, watercolors, and oils. Lots of nice lithos prints, do that sort of thing. Come back through cabinets, grandmother clock, more Wedgwood, more Fenton, uh, Cloisonne, Schlappelve, some really wonderful slate clocks, great pieces of furniture here. There's some neat pieces of art this way. This is a listed artist, Kate Kelsey. Here is a um, early, early Rembrandt piece. Now, it may have been cut from a book, but who knows, you know, you just never know. That's what's fun about this place, you just never know. I'm going to back up so I can show you this kick. Oh, I balanced this up bad. This killer piece of furniture, huge, lots of carving. Move right on to this other carved pieces. Look at this dawn. The goddess or the god of wind blowing around. We have two side chairs and an armchair. Um, early books come through. Another slate clock. First paintings on glass. There's an eye cart. So I'm telling you, it's truly turning out to be such a nice tale. There's some opalescents here. And some fighting fellows. I love this clock. Look at all the inlaid work here. Just beautiful butterfly, elephant. And see, see the guy over there? Rodin's thinker, it's huge. Seven, seven, eight foot, I don't know, just taller than me. Drexel pieces here. Um, East Lake settees, lots of wonderful. There's a, there's a lounge chair, a giraffe skin. Uh, more Fenton all the way through there and some art glass. Lots and lots of Waterford, uh, flip top 
game table, Edergé more Fenton, all signed pieces on him painted. There's a nice bunch of Mikasa, another wonderful clock. Let's go in and get close. Check that one out. Okay, coming in through this one, we have Steins. It's hard to see. There's some early art glass. There's some Victorian glass there. There's a knight in shining armor. Got yourself a teak desk here. A tie horse, flying horse, bake light radio. Spin that puppy right around. And we're in the bougie section. Bougie is a new word my daughter's teaching me from college. Bougie. That flashy, I kind of reminds me of that Italian plastic wrap it up, don't sit in my living room furniture, but you never know. That might be the next hot thing since the mid-century modern has just gone absolutely gaga. Teak mirror there. Check out the chandelier. It's awesome. Huge, really good size on the crystals. Look, I put my fingers up there. Look how big they are. There's some oriental things, some nice. Look at the carved. Look how big these guys are. Carved mask, really well done. Some nice pieces there. Zooming along. Get yourself a console stereo. Got some mid-century. Here's some oriental. It's just fun because you never know what you're going to find here. There you got your Ames chair. Zooming around. There's some more art. I love these little walkthroughs. I hope they make you happy. Mid-century desk. Nice little lamps. I'll back up a little here so I don't trip over this slate. Look at this big pile of slate. Perfect if you want to paint on it. Bears of the world. Another butcher block. Two butcher blocks, two weeks in a row. Go figure. Totally restored barber chair. Very, very nice. Mar uh, enamel top table. Signed Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, ship's Telegraph. See, there's some cool stuff. Um, there's a ship, there's a uh, country store lamp, brass, piano, there's some scales, there's some cast iron, a cool little stove. I'm in the country section, I see I hadn't figured that one out. These are nice pastels and oils. There's an easy bake oven, a, an ice box, drop leaf tables, some more stuff coming around the corner. There's one of those drop down, I think that's a lawn uh, ironing board inside there, but we do have a heated ironing board, lots of crocs, quilt racks. More signed items. There's Ted Williams gone fishing. We all want to go fishing. There's the Crocs. Now oh, those are Budweiser, Budweiser mugs go right next to the bar. Here we go. Got a nice little bar. Some nice Florida art. Moving around. Chip, 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 chip. Um, chip, tra chip. Jeez Louise, chip tins. There we go. And then some other country, nice country pieces. Now I'm going to tell you, we got a lot of cool stuff. We got 500 lots. It's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure you just come on down and join us um, and we'll see you at the sale.